Hey guys, it's Kirk again with another ROM review and this time I've got Temasix CM11 unofficial build V2. So this is his latest build. Uh, he is this awesome, awesome developer who is really just, I can't, I don't have words for him. It's, he's really awesome. He builds ROMs every day if he can. So it's uh, really great. Okay. So uh, let's get into the ROM. Here is the lock screen, which is well, same uh, 4.3, 4.4 uh, gimmicky lock screen. Okay, let's get into the ROM. So uh, we have uh, the Google Experience Launcher, same as the other uh, CM11s. Now the difference between this one is that is that you see this one, it has the ribbons, so it is advancement. Uh, uh, by far, I guess this is the only uh, ROM with CM11 with these functions now enabled. So you have all these functions now. First of all, let's get into uh, all the about phone page. You have uh, well, it is 4.4. Granted, it is CM11, an official build. Okay, this is the latest version that is 15 11 2013, 15 November. You can see Temasek's unofficial version V2. And that's about it from the about from page. Let's see what are the features, extra features you get. Uh, I have reviewed a CM11 previously that was by Ben Admund and his team. That was an awesome ROM. It uh, functions in all possible way. This one is kind of uh, a source built one with a bit of a twist. It does have more features. So as you can see, it does have dark UI. The other one also had dark UI, but if you notice carefully, something was wrong with it because it turns on uh, at sometimes and turns off, and it causes a linking with the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth toggle. So this one doesn't seem to have that problem. So that's a good thing. It does have themes. I do use themes. Uh, I'm kind of uh, in love with the Nexus 5 uh, icons and stuff, so I do use that one. Now the more the Extra things are in these uh, options. Now, first one is Temasek spare, spare Pots. This one has all the mods. So, first one, status bar. So, you can change the battery icon to any of these with dot of circles or dot of circle with percentage, icon, anything. So, that's there. Um, a clock and date, you can uh, change the alignment. You can have it center clock with a MPM indicator, date or no date, whatever you want awesome feature now brightness control if you don't have the um, automatic brightness enabled you can use that it's really nice to have notification drawer you in this one you have shortcuts that's something which is extra from the uh, size demo which I have reviewed earlier uh, it gives you the option to have shortcuts here so you can add whatever you want whatever apps you want you can have that and you can uh, queue them in the order you want so that's really awesome let's go back uh, background transparency height carry level that's similar to the other one lights and warnings the pop-up and uh, pop-up and sound you can have all these options there screen on notification light the light which you can have with screen on or without screen on whatever screen and animation this is something which I really like okay um, CRT animation is something which we all know uh, I like scale down which is this one just went off a bit. Um, this one is like the AOKP animations, so you have all these options also. So this is uh, included in this ROM. Let's see translucent. Mm. You saw that, right? That uh, you can control the animations. Uh, I am really waiting for the list view animation so that I can have my old uh, list view that is the. No, and it anticipates shoot. Uh, I guess I remember. I remember it that way. Scale and anticipate. That's one of my favorite ones. So yeah, that's really what I'm waiting for now. General settings. You have all these options, which is similar to the other one. You do have restart UI. If in any uh, circumstances, if this one uh, disappears or you have a system UI crash, you can just uh, restart system UI from here. Really neat. Uh, you have these. Okay. 
now uh, let's go to interface okay this one is really awesome I I was waiting for this for a long time uh, well not a long time for three days uh, in interface you have quick setting panel yay we have the option to change whatever appears here awesome so you have all these options that is the same similar to 4.3 or 4.2 you have all these options camera everything you can just enable them uh, it all you can enable all of them so works uh, one thing I would like to note is that uh, this one that is the data if you click this it will give you a system UI crash something you have to live with I guess uh, there is nothing more to do about it unless a new version comes out or a fix comes out so that's something to bear in mind um, rest of them are similar to the uh, Sanitation mod franchise I guess uh, similar to Sanitation mod nothing extra these are the extra things that is this one so I believe that's enough that's enough for you guys to have a, a try at this one this is super stable I apart from the system UI crash with this one I didn't have any other problem um, and it works so yeah that is it about the ROM uh, let me show you guys the boot animation and we'll see so here is the boot animation for this build which is Cyanogen Mod 11 Thematics unofficial build so you have the Nexus 5 style or Google edition style boot animation with the with uh, description of what the ROM is so awesome um, okay uh, one thing which I want to show you guys is that uh, a, a user recently pointed to me that the camera well the camera works the first time okay so you don't have the restart uh, which was available which was a problem in the initial CM builds one thing which I would like to um, notify is that this uh, option that is the front camera recording option is kind of uh, busted because you can see the preview right but while recording it turns to this so you can see that okay now uh, I'll stop recording if you try to use this one and if you try to play this you can't play the video it now will force close I guess no it didn't force close whatever I'll go to gallery and uh, not now I'll show you so that's what I wanted to show you guys it does record but only the preview is kind of busted so uh, don't be uh, like uh, bitching about that one uh, the preview will be fixed in the later runs but not now it will take time so yeah apart from all that it's really an awesome ROM it works and that's kind of the only thing that you need right now uh yeah i guess that is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please uh, like share and subscribe if you really like it and um, if it really helped so see you guys next time bye